So imagine that you need to provide the IPv6 subnet plan for an organization with four areas, a thousand sites, four groups, and four user communities per group. That's something you need to find out from your customer. And once you have plotted that down, you can actually start thinking of network aspects. Think of areas as large networks that are separated from each other, sites as locations for route summarization, groups as individual routed networks, and communities could be considered as VLANs. That would be the basis for your subnet calculation, which will start right now. We have identified with our customer the requirement in terms of areas, sites, groups, and communities. Below the requirements, you will find a little calculator. And all the way on the bottom, you will find the IPv6 address, which will fill out at the end. So if you were to draw the four independent sites in a block diagram, then we could draw the EU, the US, Asia, and Africa as the four areas. Within every area, we have a thousand sites. And within every th site, we have four functional groups. And within every functional group, we have four communities. If we have four areas to identify, then we require two bits. And that is to say, zero, one, two, three. So two bits are required for the area. A thousand sites can be identified with 10 bits. Groups can be identified with two bits and communities can likewise be identified with two bits. If we add up all the bits together, we end up with 16 bits. An IPv6 address, the network part has 64 bits. We can now draw the line and identify that the last 16 bits will be used for subnetting. The top 48 bits will be used as the official prefix, which we will request from IANA as official registered IP space. The areas can be drawn into the subnet area. That's the first block. The second block will be the sites. The third block, the groups. And the last block will be the communities. The area will require a slash 50, that is to say 48 bits plus 2. Size is slash 60, the group is 62, and the community is a slash 64. Why a slash 50 for the areas? Well, that's because 48 plus 2 bits is 50, and so on. So this is a, a very simple approach 